Here's how to make an X in Figma. So I would do this with the pen tool. The shortcut key for the pen tool is P. Once you have it, just click somewhere and then come across here and hold shift to make sure you keep it horizontal. You don't want it to be kind of off like this. And we're actually gonna make just a horizontal line. So I'm holding shift and I'll click again. Now I'm gonna change some stroke options. I'm gonna go to done really quick and then press the V key on my keyboard just to make sure I'm back on that move tool. And then in the stroke options, let's switch this guy to white so we can see him. And then we have the stroke options here. Yours probably started on one, so you can adjust the stroke width right here. I would keep it on center. And then I'm gonna click these three dots. We're gonna to go to, uh, well actually we need to select these points. So I need to select one point. I might have to change this in a different spot. Yep, we need to double click in here and select an individual point. Yeah, so that's what we need to do. So not the pin tool, keep it on the move tool, just double click on your line and then click on an end point. You can probably hold shift and click both end points. So we have them both selected. Now we click our three dots and we can adjust the end point. For whatever reason, you couldn't do that unless you double click into it and you're actually adjusting the anchor points. It's kind of like a shape mode that you're going into or a path mode. So we hit endpoint and I want rounded on the endpoint. Let's make this nice and clean. So unless you want the squared off edges, personally, I like the rounded look. Now, once we have that complete, we're gonna hit done. And then we're gonna duplicate this. So we select it, hold option or alt if you're on PC, click and drag up, and we've got it duplicated. Now we need to rotate it. So you gotta find that double ended arrow right outside of one of the endpoints. Click and drag to rotate. Now hold shift, that's gonna lock it in to 15 degree increments so that you can easily do a 90 degree rotation. If you really need to, you can come over here to the design area in your properties and just type in the amount of rotation. Now we click and drag, grab both. We're going to center them, horizontal and vertical. Just to make sure, now they're centered. We have a cross, so what do we need to do? Rotate this entire group. Speaking of, we could right click since we have them all selected and just go ahead and group that selection. Now, no matter what we click, this group moves around. Then we can rotate that group and we can rotate it, well, I don't know, 45 degrees, is that what it would take? Yeah, 45 degrees. I'm holding shift, of course, and we have an X. Now, the cool thing about this X, if we click and select it, we should be able to click and drag to increase or decrease the stroke width of both strokes since they're grouped together. So depending on what you want that X to look like, you can really increase this or decrease this until it looks exactly like an X that you wanna use in your design. So there you go, that's how to create an X here in Figma.